Yasho Varman was a medieval Indian ruler of Kannauj who founded the Varman dynasty of Kannauj. There are few sources that provide information of his life although he was undoubtedly a powerful king. Yasho Varman was king of Kannauj in the early part of 8th century. The city then known as Kannakuj had previously been ruled by Harsh who died without an heir and thus created a power vacuum this lasted for around a century before yashovarman emerged as a ruler alexander cunningham an archaeologist of the british raj period speculated on possible rulers of kannauj during the period between harsha and yashovarman but there is little evidence to support his claims little is known of yashovarman or his family with most information being derived from godwaho that is slaying of the king of god a prakrit language poem written by vakpati shishuvarman was a supporter of culture and vakpati was among his courtiers the extent to which the poem can be relied upon for statements of fact is impossible to determine vakpati's work has been variously said to describe yashuvarman as either a divine incarnation of vishnu or a kshatriya of the lunar dynasty Cunningham considered him likely to be related to the Mokris who had ruled Kannauj prior to Harsha and some Jain works say that he was related to the Chandragupta who ruled the Mauryan empire the dates of his reign are also obscure with assertions including 728 to 745 AD as said by Vincent Smith around the late 7th century early 8th century as said by Sankar Panduranga Pandit and according to the calculations of R S Tripathi probably 725 to 752 AD the godwaho depicts yashovarman as conquering large swathes of northern india including bihar bengal and western deccan indus valley and kashmir before returning in triumph to kannauj However, Kalhan, a Kashmiri court chronicle who lived around the 12th century CE, gives a very different story in his Rajtarangini, depicting Yashovarman as a ruler who was among those defeated by Lalita Ditya Mukta Pid, a ruler of Kashmir. The variant claims of stupendous conquests given by both of these courtiers are improbable, with Tripathi saying of those in the Godwaho that these exploits read more like fiction than sober history other early sources are the prabhavak charit prabandh kosh and bappa bhatti suri charitra which are jain documents although rc majumdar is among those who are wary of the ancient accounts of conquests he believes that yashovarman was unquestionably the most powerful king in the region about this time He believes that diplomatic relations existed between the Chinese court and that in Kannauj evidenced by Yashovarman sending a minister to China in 731 and that he was for a time in alliance with Mukta Pid with the two rulers defeating the Tibetans. These two diplomatic events may be connected because China was at that time at war with Tibet but it is also possible that the Chinese relationship grew from a shared concern about the growth of Arab power. The alliance with Mukta Pid collapsed around 740 AD according to Majumdar because of jealousy felt by the Kashmiri king. While Majumdar says that Lalita Aditya then defeated Yashovarman and annexed his lands, Tripathi believes is that kalhan's account of what happened is inconsistent and that yashovarman may have been allowed to remain on his throne after a nominal acknowledgement of supremacy to lalita aditya little physical evidence exists of yashovarman's reign although he is reputed to have constructed the temple at harishchandra nagri that is present day ayodhya An inscription has been found at Nalanda and some coins elsewhere that may relate to him but there is no certainty. According to the Jain chronicles, Yashovarman had a son named Amma who succeeded him as the king of Kannauj during 749 to 753 CE. Historian 
Sham Manohar Mishra believes this claim to be historically true as it is not contradicted by any historical evidence. C. V. Vaidya theorized that the Ayodhya rulers were descendants of Yashovarman, but no historical records connect the two dynasties. S. Krishna Swami Iyengar similarly proposed that Vajrayudh and Indrayudh were names of Amma, but this theory is contradicted by the Jain accounts. Thank you.